Greetings, brothers and sisters. This is Lily Joyner with Last Day Disciples. Today, I'm coming to the conclusion of Is Tithing for the Day. Two years ago, I started my online ministry, and the first message that God told me to deal with was tithing. And posed to me this question, uh, is Robin Hood a sinner or a saint? From my knowledge of Robin Hood, the only thing I knew was Robin Hood stole from the rich and gave to gave the poor. So I'm like, what kind of question is that? So I posted on Facebook, is Robin Hood, is he a sinner or a saint? Everybody I guess, overwhelmingly thought that Robin Hood was a saint. So I'm like, okay. So I prayed about it, but it really bothered me because I'm thinking that you know, from the world's point of view, okay, you know, he's, you know, he should be a saint. But from the biblical point of view, he stole from the rich. Stealing, thou should not steal, that's a sin. So how could that be of God? So I took the initiative to go and rent the Robin Hood. And it was an interesting story where Rob, the king had posed a tax on the people and the people were to give of their grain for their uh, agriculture community and they were given their grain which was also their food and their livelihood to the king and because the king was the head of the Church of England then the church was the one that uh, collected the money for the king so Robin Hood in the movie ambushed the king's men in Sherwood Forest and he took the money which I'm thinking would be money gold but actually it was grain so he took the grain and went out and it was in the middle of a, a rainstorm and sold the soul sold the seed and the more other story I got was the king got nothing but the people got a harvest. The king represented the world, and the church who collected the money from the people looked as if they were representing God, but in essence, they represented the world. And Robin Hood was a man that said, this is not right. Something had to be done. So, he took action and went to the eight other people, took back what the devil stole, sowed the seeds. Again, the king of the world got nothing, but the people got a harvest. So I took this message prophecy to my pastor, and I told him what God told me that the way that tithing was being taught in the body of Christ was not biblical. I didn't understand what I was hearing because I didn't have a problem with tithing. You know, so given it should be given to you, pressed down, shaken together, shall men given to your bosom. But I also see the things that are going on in the world, like the Eddie Longs and the Creflo Dollars. And... The world sees these people as representing the king of kings. And most people have a problem with church is it's all about money. There's nothing but a bunch of hypocrites in there. I don't want no part of that organization because they don't represent God. They represent money. And I can make money on my own. What kind of testimony is this to the world in this last day? So, I, when I presented this to my pastor, I don't know, he basically blew me off. He's like, when I told him about the Robin Hood thing, he's like, well, it's not biblical. It's not biblical. He didn't want to hear what I had to say. That's fine. I didn't expect him to listen to anything I had to say, but I was being obedient because God told me to speak to him first. And before I could come to you, I had to go to him. But on the flip side of that, our church has a Bible college, and the writer of the book teaches tithing. And there are three forms of tithing that he taught in the Bible. There is the biblical tithe, the tithe went to the priest. 
there was the tithes that people gave up, consumed upon themselves, and then there's the tithes of the poor. And the tithe wasn't every week. It was certain times of the year. So I, I had no problem with the principle, but the problem I had was why is the church only teaching tithing to the Levitical priest where you give me 10% of all your increase and God will bless you. You see how he's blessing me with my Learjet and my big house and my fancy suits, but in the next life, God's going to bless you too. So I told him, I, you know, I have no problem with the way Todd has been taught in our church. But the message that's being taught in our church needs to be taught nationwide because we are truly in the last days. And it's time, time out for playing church. And I see people like me don't want to go to church because they see the people on TV and all they're talking about is money, money coming, money coming, money coming. But they're not living a dime worth of nothing. Who am I? <laughs> I am nobody. And I understand that. So I flew to Tanzania. And I spoke to the doctor that wrote the books for our Bible college. And I proposed to him the same thing. You teach in your books that there are three forms of tithing. The tithing to the priest, the tithing to yourself, and the tithing to the poor. Why is the body of Christ only focused on the tithing to the priest, which is not even biblical as, as it is, because the priest, the people tithe to the priest, and the priest tithe to the Levites. So the Levitical priest only got a tenth of the tithe, and they could own the property because they did not have an inheritance. Today, Pastors own everything. They had a non-profit organization. They had a CEO of this. They own the land. They own the building. They own all, all, all the sales marketing tools, which is not what the Bible taught before it's tithing. So, again, my question is, why is the church only teaching Levitical tithing? And if tithing is truly for today, why not teach the whole thing? So I'm breaking this message up into sections because it's a lot. We're going to go be going through Malachi. You know, that is the book that seems like the only book that pe pe pastors teach today in tithing. And really, is tithing is for, for the day? Does it matter if you tithe? If you believe in Jesus Christ and don't tithe, will you still go to heaven? That's a good question to ask. And what does it mean to tithe by principle and tithe by faith? Tune into my next video, and we're going to detail. Thank you.